Hi, this is Mrs. Yowd, and today I'm going to teach you about how to use the Pythagorean Theorem. Make sure that you've watched the other video that I assigned about the basics of the Pythagorean Theorem before continuing with this one. You should be taking notes in your spiral notebook while watching this video, and that you can use those notes while you're doing your assignments. The Pythagorean Theorem is used for finding side lengths of a right triangle. In a right triangle, you usually have a box in one of the corners that signifies the right angle, and then you have two legs, and the legs are the sides of the right triangle that make up that right angle. And lastly, across from the right angle, you have the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is always the longest side of the right triangle. So the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the a and the b are the legs, and the c is the hypotenuse. So another way to think about this is leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Remember that the previous video that I had you watch talked a lot about the Pythagorean Theorem and how it works and why it works. Okay, let's do some examples. In example one, we need to find the length of the hypotenuse. Since this is a right triangle, we can use the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared because that is the Pythagorean theorem. In this case, we need to find this side here, and that is the one that is opposite of the right angle, so it is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the one that is always here, that is C. So what we need to do is substitute the, the 5 and the 12 for our A and our B. Now it does not matter which one is which. We could have A B5 and B B12, or we could flip it around and have A B12 and B B5. I'm gonna go ahead and have 5 B A. So I have 5 squared plus 12 squared equals the what I don't know, which is the hypotenuse, squared. Okay, so now I just need to solve for the letter C. 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144 equals C squared. 25 and 144 is 169 equals C squared. Now remember to undo this square we learned in a previous video that you need to take the square root on both sides. When you do that, the square and the square root cancel, and you're left with just c by itself. And then the square root of 169 is 13. So the answer is that the hypotenuse, or letter c, is 13 meters. Let's move on to letter b. Once again, we have a right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're trying to find this side length here, which is opposite of the right angle, which is the hypotenuse. So this is the part that we're trying to find this time again. So I'm just going to substitute in what I know for the legs, which is three over 10 and two over five into my formula. It's important to put parentheses around these because they are um, fractions, and we want to make sure that we square both the top and the bottom of the fraction when we solve. All right, so 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is 100, plus 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, and 5 times 5 on the denominator is 25. Okay, so now it is time to combine those two fractions. Since they do not have like denominators, we need to make the second one here the same. So I'm going to multiply this by 4 
so that I can turn it into 100. So now I have 9 over 100 plus 16 over 100 equals c squared. 16 plus 9 is 25, so that we have 25 over 100 equals c squared. I could simplify this into 1 fourth uh, by dividing by 25 here and here. So I have 1 fourth equals c squared. All right, we still need to get rid of that square. So remember the opposite of square once again is taking the square root. And when you do that, the square and the square root cancel and you're left just with that variable c. So this is the square root of 1 over the square root of 4, and the square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 4 is 2. So that means that 1 half is my length. So the answer is 1 half inch. All right, letter C, we're still going to use the Pythagorean theorem because we have a right triangle again. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Once again, what we're trying to find is the side opposite of the right angle, which is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is always the letter C in our Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to substitute in the 8 and the 15 into my equation now. So we have 8 squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. 8 squared is 64. 8 times 8, and 15 squared means 15 times 15, which is 225. 225 plus 64 is 289. Okay, so we still have this square that we need to undo, and we undo that by taking the square root. Once again, the square and the square root cancel and we're left with C on this side, and the square root of 289 is 17. So our answer is 17 feet. If you have a hard time with multiplying squares and finding square roots, it's okay for you to use a calculator during these lessons. For example two, I want to find the length of the leg. Now this is still a right triangle, and if we look at the side opposite, we can see that this is the hypotenuse. And on this one, this side opposite is the hypotenuse, so the 34 yards. And on letter C, the hypotenuse is 10.4 meters. So for all of these, we're going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember that the hypotenuse is always going to be the letter C. So in this case, when we substitute, we're going to substitute the 2.9 in for the C. The A and the B, which are A and 2.1, can get substituted in for either the A or the B for the other one. So that would be A squared plus 2.1 squared. Remember, we want to use a calculator for this because it would take a while to use without a calculator. All right, so 2.1 squared is 4.41, so I have a squared plus 4.41, and 2.9 squared is 8.41. So now if we want to solve for a here, we want to subtract off 4.41 from both sides. And that gives us a squared is equal to 4.00 or just a squared is equal to 4. Just like on the last couple of problems from the example 1, whenever we have a square, we need to undo that by taking the square root. When we do that, the square and the square root cancel, and we're left with just the variable a, and the square root of 4 is 2. So that means that my answer for this leg length here is 2 centimeters. Letter B, we're going to use the formula again. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 
Remember that the c squared is always your hypotenuse, so that is going to get substituted in here. So we have 34 squared here. The other two that we're going to substitute in are 16 and b. So I'm just going to go 16 squared plus b squared equals 34 squared. Next step is squaring the 16. 16 squared is 256, and then b squared, we just keep the same. 34 squared is 1,156. Now we need to solve for the letter b. So we're going to solve for b by subtracting 256 from both sides, and we get 900. So now we need to take, uh, take care of this square here by taking the square root on both sides. When we do that, the square and the square root cancel, and we're left with b. And the square root of 900 is 30. So the answer for this question is that letter b is 30 yards. OK, for the last question, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember that 10.4 is your hypotenuse. So it will be equal to 10.4 squared. Now I'm going to substitute in a and 9.6 into my equation. I would like for you to pause this video and try this on your own and see if you can get it right. Go ahead and turn it back on when you're done. You should have gotten that 9.6 squared is 92.16 and 10.4 squared is 108.16. So now I'm going to subtract off 92.16 from both sides, which gives us a squared equals 16. I need to undo the square by taking the square root. So the answer would be a is equal to the square root of 16 is 4. So the answer for letter A over here would be 4 meters. For example 3, we need to find the missing length of the figure. In question A, we have a what looks like a rectangle here that is topped by a right triangle. So if this is a rectangle, I know that if this is 63, this also has to be 63 centimeters. And if this side is 16, then this also has to be 16 centimeters. Now, if you remember what these little symbols mean, it means that we have three side lengths that have the same length. So that means that this top part is also 16 centimeters. OK, so now we have a right triangle. We know two sides of the right triangle, 16 and 63. And we need to find the third side of the right triangle, which is x. So let's figure out which side is the hypotenuse. Here's my right angle, which means that the side opposite of the right angle is going to be my hypotenuse. So that means x is my hypotenuse. So now I need to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember, c has to be the hypotenuse. So in this case, the hypotenuse is x. So I'm going to substitute in x for the hypotenuse. 16 and 63 are the other two side lengths. So I'm going to substitute in 16 and 63 for the other two side lengths. Now I just need to solve for x. See if you can do that on your own. OK, you should have gotten 65 as your answer because 16 squared is 256. 63 squared is 3,969, and when you add those two together, you get 4,225. Using my calculator, I found out that the square root of 4,225 is 65. Remember, we have to take the square root because we have to get rid of the square there. So that means that the length that was missing is 65 centimeters. 
Okay, letter B, we have what looks like two triangles that are right next to each other. Now I need to find this one here. I don't have enough information yet. In order to find this length, I need to know this length, because if I have this one, then I can use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. In order to find this length, I can use 13 and 5, because that is a complete right triangle there. So I'm going to first use the Pythagorean theorem to find this length, then I'm going to use it again to find this length. So let's start with this right triangle that's on the right-hand side. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember, C is the hypotenuse. So if we look at this triangle, opposite of the right angle here is your hypotenuse. So 13 is going to be the C. My A and my B are going to be 5 and I don't know what this one is. Let's put another variable here to help us out. I'm going to make it Y. So we're going to have 5 squared plus Y squared. Now I need to solve for the letter Y. 5 squared is 25 and 13 squared is 169. Subtract 25 from both sides, and I get y squared equals 144. The opposite of the square is the square root. So that means that y is equal to the square root of 144, which is 12. Okay, so now we know that this length up here is 12. Now I can use that to help me find out what x is by looking at this triangle here. We have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember that the c is the hypotenuse. If we look at the right angle, the opposite of the right angle is the hypotenuse. So in this case, our hypotenuse is x. Our A and our B are the other two leg lengths, so we have 35 and 12. 35 squared is 1,225, plus 12 squared is 144, and now we need to add 1,225 and 144 to get 1,369. The opposite of the square is taking the square root. So when we take the square root, we get 37. So that means that the length that was missing is 37 meters. For example four, I have a real life application. You and your cousin are planning to go to an amusement park. You live 36 miles south of the park and 15 miles west of your cousin. How far away from the park does your cousin live? So if this point represents the park and we live, or you live, 36 miles south of that park, we can draw a line straight down and we'll call this you, or me, I suppose. This is 36 miles. All right, we are also told that we live 15 miles west of our cousin. So if our cousin is going to be somewhere out here, and we are 15 miles west of our cousin. So now the question is asking, how far away from the park does your cousin live? So we're trying to find this length here, and we'll call that x. Since south and west make a right angle, we can put a right angle in there, and that means that this side opposite is the hypotenuse. So we can use the formula a squared plus b squared plus equals c squared in order to find what we are missing. So the hypotenuse, remember, goes into the c here. So we have equals x squared. 
That means that our A and our B are the 36 and the 15. It doesn't matter where we put them. I'll just go ahead and write 36 first. And now we just need to solve for this. You go ahead and finish the problem and see what you get. Okay, you should have gotten 39. So that means that your cousin lives 39 miles from the park. Okay, this concludes today's lesson about the Pythagorean Theorem.